second. How's the glare on my glasses? That's fine. Can I start with that? How's the glare on my glasses? Yeah, that's fine. I'll get the. Uh, <laughs> Io abito Vancouver. <laughs> I don't speak any Italian, but because I am here at UBC, I am taking Italian as one of my elective courses outside of theater, which is why I'm here for the theater. Today. We had a voice and speech with Gail Murphy, which was excellent. Gail is this really, I don't know, <laughs> I don't want to say motherly, but she does. Like, you feel really like kind of safe and stuff and she does the voice and she's very careful with everything she says to us so we're not getting the wrong idea about any of her teachings. If you have any questions she's totally okay with answering them and she just like sat down with me for like 20 minutes yesterday and just talked to me about like oh well you need to take this elective and this elective but it's okay. And I'm like okay. Why would you ask me what I think of Gail? I love you Gail! Uh, no I think she's great I think she has a lot of heart in this. Uh, She's totally connected to her work, and that's, uh, that will eventually help me uh, better connect myself with, with my work. Uh, she's, she's, really, she's a really nice teacher in person, and, and we just had a lot of fun. We were doing this thing with a big yoga Pilates ball. What we did in that class was there was a ball. We spent about an hour or so just passing big exercise balls around. We basically, we ran around, we played with a big ball. We used balls. There were lots of balls. I mean, it was, it was definitely not as easy as it sounds. Sometimes there were two balls. And we threw a bunch of balls around. Sometimes just one. Definitely there is a lot of subtext with <laughs> ball throwing. Uh, I'll, I'll have you know. That was fun. And I just had the best time ever with that ball. I was really excited about it. I felt really happy with what we did and what we accomplished that day. We threw the ball to each other and we talked about uh, controlling our breath. The breathing experiences with the ball, that was interesting. Um, every time you saw the ball go up or go down, you're like, <gasps> that's what I found. It's, it's nice to kind of really get back down to the very basics of everything, rediscovering things and discovering things that I didn't know about in the first place. And, Something that really got to me was that uh, one of us was describing the experience they had and they were using you in a hypothetical situation, for instance, like, oh, you know, it was really interesting that like, when you would pass the ball, it would, it would seem lighter or something. And then Gail was like, stop, stop, stop. And she said, I don't, she, it, was, it was a very kind way, but she said, I, I, like, I, prefer, I would prefer it if you said I instead of you because it makes it more personal. And for me, throughout my life, it's always been assumed that you say you when you're using hypotheticals because the listener relates to themselves and therefore they're more interested and more engaged and you can communicate more effectively because everyone's selfish. Uh, and it's, it's, nice to, uh, it's nice to be in an environment where um, people are in genuinely interested in me and how I feel and my experiences and I don't think that's a luxury we have in the real world. And it also appeals to my curious nature as well, like when people started using I instead of you, I was so much more engaged because I was learning more about them instead of more about the situation. Our group, we're, it's 15 of us, and it's great, uh, we just clicked totally, and, and that's great, we're going to have a really good time. Um, it was very interesting to get comfortable with, with a bunch of unfamiliar faces. Generally I'm a very... I'm very reserved, like, if you want to get to know me, it takes a while. It, it takes a long time for me to open up and kind of get, like, to the deep stuff. And um, so far this week, I'm proud that I've been able to say a couple things about me that I usually don't tell people. I'm still not where I want to be, but of course I have a while to get there. We haven't seen each other act yet, but I'm very excited to do that, but yeah, it'll be good. And yeah, I mean, it's only the first week, so I know everything will be getting harder and faster with time, but I just can't wait, and I'm really excited. It was a great, it was a great day. Lots of balls all around. That's on gay. <laughs> <laughs>